Uh, let's speak to Nathan Butcher in this very area, uh, trainee site manager, which is the higher apprenticeship area of life. Um, Nathan, afternoon to you. Afternoon, you all right? Good as gold at this end. So tell us what happened with you then. You you had no desire to go to university or you thought about it? And what was yeah, the story? No, um, straight from school when I was 16, it was a choice of do I either go to college and then university or do I get an apprenticeship and sort of climb the ladder that way. Yep. Um, and it was a choice between law or construction, one uni or one an apprenticeship. So I decided to do a joinery apprenticeship. Started off when I was 16, and then it's just sort of gone from there. So this gives you, it does give you a qualification as well, right? Yeah, yeah. I started off, I got, um, I did the joinery one for three years, straight, straight from school. And then from that, I got a HNC level, like a level three MVQ in joinery and gotcha. carpentry. And then now I'm on the higher apprenticeship as a trainee site manager. And then my first two years are a HNC, a high national certificate. Yep. In so sort of site supervisor. And then it can lead on to a high national diploma. So sort wow. of university. So it, it's kind of a double bubble of result, really, isn't it? Because you, you are you do have qualifications you can move around with, but also the practical side, because you can't, you know, get the qualifications unless you are proven to be practically capable of doing what you set out to do yeah that's the thing um by all means you could go to university get the same the same qualification straight off the bat but then yeah. it's finding a company and proving that you can actually do the job because stuff that you learn at uni while it's all nice and well and we're learning it now at college yeah. putting it into practice on site is a completely different story of course it is and it, yeah just learning how how to deal with people how I to manage people and you're earning money as well. Exactly, yeah. I've um, been earning since I was 16, so got a car, not got debt. <laughs> Looking to start saving up and move yeah. out soon, hopefully. What car are you driving? I've got to ask. Um, a Volvo. Oh, I, um, I, that's that's interesting. I'm a Volvo driver. I didn't think you could drive a Volvo until you hit 40, but you're obviously bucking <laughs> the trend there, Nathan. <laughs> <laughs> it's a V40R design, so it's a sport one. Oh, I know the one, yeah. I know the one. They're, they're pretty tasty things. Um, so the grand plan then, what are you you thinking of doing? Is this eventually going to lead to starting your own business? Or what, what are your thoughts in that respect of uh, the future going forward? Well, really, from when I set off, the main aim was to sort of climb the construction ladder, um, ideally at Seddon, because that's they're the ones who've nurtured me. I've learned the Seddon way. Yep. And that's another key thing of an apprenticeship. You can sort of you learn the company as a start, they can mold you as to what they want. Yeah. Um, and the, the end goal really is contracts manager in 10 years, and then hopefully a director in 20, 30 years. Fantastic. So that's where the goal is. Um, and yeah. And it, it, it sounds like you're absolutely on that journey. Nathan, thank you. Great to have you on with us as well. Nathan Butcher, trainee site manager. He's doing a higher apprenticeship course. There. I mean, these are extraordinary stories, aren't they? 